Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for joining me for this video. As you can see from today's title, we will be reviewing the new NARS Air Matte Lip colors i think they're called these guys that are right here so if you want to see what my thoughts are give me some swatches talk you through the six shades that i have in my possession and then it please keep on watching these came in the mail a few days ago this video is not sponsored in any way shape or form and um, this product was given as a pr no obligation to post or anything like that just to disclaim these all these opinions are my own as they always are i received this cute little nas package in the mail recently which came with their new six shades to their air matte lip colors which I'm going to just spoil it for you, are incredible. Um, so yeah, I just want to get into it. I don't want to talk too much. I'm going to talk formula, claims. We're going to do swatches. I'm going to talk you through each colour um, and if I recommend them. Ready to air, air matte lip colours by NARS. They're available in Selfridges and Selfridges.com. I'm guessing hopefully these might be available on the NARS website. I'm not too sure. These are limited edition. I do find that NARS do quite a lot of limited edition products. Am I the only one that's noticed that? But yeah, we have one of the shades on right now. This is the last shade that I put on. I did do a swatching video on my Instagram and TikTok. And may I tell you, my lips are killing me. However... They're not as bad as I thought they would be, especially now I'm putting matte lipstick on um, or liquid lipstick. I thought they'd be hella dry, crusty, dusty. But no, the formula is actually help, like holding up my lips really well and they feel moisturised. So that is a massive thumbs up. So if you're like me who does swatch videos or you're a content creator, you will have no problem using these. Sparingly diffused, seductively soft and matte with, that moves with you, cushiony. Um, Air Kiss pigments float featherweight colour onto lips while silky cloud comfort powders instantly diffuse light from all angles to create a soft focus finish with a creamy feel. Build and blend to perfection with a custom design applicator for a look that, that's covetable and comfortable. The next generation in matte lip colour start to air affection. Now may I just say that little paragraph I just read out was literally like grade A in English like if I was in an English class, that is something I'd use to describe a lipstick, but yeah. Anyways, these are what they look like. I don't know the current price. I will put all the information in the description. Let me actually find the price for you. Okay, so these retail for £23 per lipstick. Um, you do get 0.24 ounces or 7.5 millilitres of product. Um, I will open up the product now and show you what the doe for applicator looks like. I really, really like the doe for applicator, may I just say. If you want to see what this makeup look looks like, by the way, please head over to my Instagram. It might actually be up already. Will it be up? It should be up. No, it won't be up. It might be up. I don't know. Um, but yeah. This is what the doe fit of the actual product looks like. It's it's nice. It's not like a hard one. It's It glides the product on the lips effectively. Like I have the worst shaped lips. I find that I'm always messing up with um, like applying lip color. Um, but I find with these, there's literally no problem at all. Like I'm not having any issue whatsoever. Excuse me. Excuse the fact that I might have be red around or like sore. I've been lip swatching six shades. Yeah. First shade that we have going on is the shade All Yours. Now, when I tell you this combo, I need to tell you about this combo. I need to tell you about this combo right now. The combo that we have going on is the um, Colourpop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF2. With this, stunning. I think one of my favourite ever lip combos. And um, you know when you discover a lip combo and you're just like, wow, this is the lip combo that has wowed me. Um, if you can hear my chair, I do apologise. But yeah, this is such a stunning shade right here. It's gorgeous. Um, it's like a really nice nude, but it's got like a creamy... Oh, like a proper nude, like, an, oh, like a proper nude undertone. I love it. This is like my type of nude. Um, so yeah, I heavenly love this. The second shade that we have going on is the shade Joyride, which is this guy right here. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, the packaging is ever so slightly deceiving. Um, for some of them anyway. Some of them come out a lot more vibrant than the rest. But this is a really, really nice shade. I can't remember too much because I've swatched six shades. But yeah, this is another really, really nice one. It come off a slightly bit vibrant, but there is no patchiness whatsoever. There is no like... The pigment doesn't bond, is it bond or gather in certain areas? It glides on. It doesn't dry and um, doesn't attach to dry patches or anything like that. Love this shade that we have. Generally, doesn't look like this. This is the shade Knockout. Now, this is more of like a vibrant poppy red, um, hot pink in a sense. I think you guys were able to see from the swatch anyway. I my descriptions are terrible, but again, there's no patchiness. This glides on the lips really, really well. It's hydrating, but moisturising at the same time. It doesn't feel matte. It feels like a, like a, a natural matte. Like you can definitely tell they're matte, 
but it's not like a dry matte where your lips, if you've got textured lips like me and I hate applying matte lipstick, I always have to go in with a gloss or like a satin lipstick. These are the ones to go for. If you have dry lips, if you just like a matte feel but not a drying feel, these are the ones to go for. This shade right here, I thought this was gonna be a lot darker than it actually was, but this is a lovely shade. I think this with a dark lip liner would look absolutely gorgeous on everyone. So this is the shade Chaser. It actually comes off quite a mauve color, but it's like a muted pinky, um, like a purple undertone it's absolutely stunning highly recommend this one we have onto two reds so the shade here is pin up this one is like a nice muted red um it's not this color this one's more of like a deep red this is more of like a brighter red a little bit more orangey than that and then this one but it's again lovely no patchiness whatsoever highly recommend the formula if you like a red this is definitely one to go for lastly we actually have the one that i currently have on which i'll show you a little application so this is the shade power trip um i find a a lot of lipsticks that are red have this name power trip i think huda has one i believe maybe i'm wrong um but yeah this is a lovely 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 shade and um, it's definitely like a darker red maybe yeah lovely no patchiness whatsoever glides on the lips effortlessly if you have dry lips like me like i keep repeating this is another gorgeous shade my impressions of these is i'm highly impressed um i know loads of you guys wanted to see swatches of this would i recommend hell yeah 23 pounds personally i would say get this shade which is the shade all yours i don't know if they're going to come out with more shades maybe it's just six shades for now i don't know maybe it's just because i got those in pr um, but highly recommend this shade, highly recommend this shade if you've got like a really dark lip liner or if you like your ombre lips, this is going to be the one for you. I cannot do any more than rave about them, there's not really much more to say really, just the, the formula is great, a great product for £23, um, no complaints, literally zero complaints, like it's not, it's, there's no fault really, personally, like they just look super gorgeous on the lips, like NARS, you have you've aced it here however the only thing i would say is obviously they're not transfer proof and i don't think they've claimed to be that um they do obviously transfer so i would be wary of that um if you're going out for meals and whatnot but if you're just on like i don't know if you're just day to day this would be a gorgeous little lip to go about with obviously you'll probably have to top up if you're in the evening and you're wearing a red or whatnot but who cares like we all top up anyway don't we every now and then but yeah formula wise immaculate so yeah i've got no faults whatsoever they don't stain because normally when i lip swatch i have stains everywhere these don't stain that i'm aware of i haven't worn them long enough for them to stain but i found other lipsticks that i literally just instantly apply them wipe off and they stain so yeah um for moisturizing they don't feel like a tight matte they just feel like they're just sitting there gliding on the skin really comfortable like they're so comfortable it's crazy so yeah that is my little review of the lippy products um and let me know what your thoughts are i love this bag as well nars packaging in the pr is like literally goals but yeah thank you so much for sending this to me nars i really really appreciate it i hope you guys have enjoyed this video let me know if there are other products you want me to review i wanted to keep this video really short and snappy because i prefer my reviews like this anyway so yeah thank you so much for watching and i shall see you in my next video bye